there's craters on the moon. Yeah. What is a crater? A hole in the hole. ground. Or it's where something hit the ground and made a circular shaped impression. Or a depression that the summit of a volcano or a depression produced by a meteorite impact. Okay, it's a hole in the ground. Okay, most craters are produced by the impact of a rapidly, rapidly moving debris. What do we call it when it's still moving in our atmosphere? A meteor. A meteor. You gotta know the difference between meteorite, meteor, and meteorite. Okay, so we have craters. It's pretty simple to understand. It's a giant depression in the ground where something hit. We're going to talk about craters as far as volcanoes go and calderas more when we get to geology. But for right now, <coughs> crater comes from a meteorite impact. Then you have rays. Uh, right? Elongated streaks sometimes associated with the crater of the moon. Okay. Meteorite hits the moon, it hits the earth, throws up all kinds of degree, it spreads out into streaks. Rays. That's all that is. So it's pretty simple to understand. Something hits the earth, it makes a mess that throws out stuff that goes into streaks, you get rays. So crater and rays. That's pretty simple to understand? Okay. Yes, I do. It's not like a cloud of like dust that pops Well, there, there will be like fine layered stuff, but often it throws itself into lines. Oh, okay. And you could have a ton of different lines. And over time, on Earth, those lines wear away and go away because we have weathering and erosion. But on the Moon, you don't have weathering and erosion because there's no atmosphere, there's no water. Thus, we still see them. Okay, so here's a picture of the Moon. Mare Tranquilitatis, or the Sea of Tranquility. Now, obviously, is this really an ocean on the Moon? No. No, it's a mare. It's, it's an old... You can see the circular crater where it was punctured by some rather large object, don't know what, but probably asteroid or planetesimal, hits the moon, and at that time when the moon was first forming, we believe it was still molten on the inside, or lots of lava. You hit it, it punctures it, kind of like a giant zit, it starts to bleed, and that's that, nasty. that fills in, and that's why we have this mare, or this lava flow or basaltic lava flow that would fill it up. But you can see these are round, any of these little seas, these mares, are round the shape of meteorite impacts. You can see the roundness of these things. Yeah, Brandon. What does the, the sea of tranquility look like? Pac Man, kind of. Looks like Pac Man? The bright one? What, this? Yeah, you see, like, the. That's just features of different craters that have hit the moon over time. Why is it round? Well, it, it, it round at one point, but you have to understand when that happened, it would have been perfectly round. <coughs> but how long ago did that happen? And how, I mean, here we have some much more recent impacts. Yeah, the, Cur the Copernicus crater is really big, uh, and it's got these, see these streaks coming off it? These are rays. Here's a an older crater, the Kepler's crater. So, that's the most. Okay, formation of a crater, this is actually pretty simple. Something hits, it pushes down into the moon, compresses things, and like hitting a giant trampoline, that material doesn't like to be compressed. It pushes back and lifts a lot of it out. So you have this, it's called ejecta. That's hard to see. This is rebound. This is ejecta. OK, ejecta. That pushes back out. You get this nice circular crater. You get a nice divot in the moon, or on the Earth, or on whatever objects being hit. And this forms rays. Okay. One of the things I've done in the past where they wanted me to talk about this more was I got out, everyone had a little sand tray, we had different objects and we threw it at the sand and you could form your own craters. So if you want to do that on your own time, just go get your little brother, sister, sandbox, go to a playground, get some rocks, smooth it out and start throwing rocks at it. And you can see this process today in small scale. We are going to do awesome stuff later. But, later. If we get to rocks and minerals, I'm going to have rocks and minerals all over the room. You're going to be doing tests on the minerals. Um, that's coming up 
within a month. So, here we go. Okay, um, there are some things on the moon, and this is really quick. There's highlands. There's an area where the land is high. Okay, it's a whole bunch of previous impacts of craters. It looks like mountains, but it's not mountains. It's just tons of crater impacts all on top of itself. It's the highlands. Now this is not Scotland, and there's no one running around attacking people with a sword. Okay, no. we didn't make a TV show out of it in the 80s, 90s. Maria. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but this is the Highlands. Um, the Maria. Maria. Okay, Maria. now yes, it looks like Maria, <laughs> but it is it's it's the plural of the word mare. M a r e. The mare or the Maria. Yeah. Are the ancient beds of basaltic lava originated when asteroids punctured? Okay, we just talked about this. That's where you have those giant like sea of tranquility. It's not really a sea. It's where that lava kind of bubbled up and out of the moon, fills in the crater, and now it's called ancient Mara. Yes. Just can't see it. Like uh, Somebody named it that. Well, tranquility. Yeah, it's like it's tranquil. It's peaceful. It's nice. Uh, well, it's the moon, right? We're going to name it something. Uh, let's see. And then you have rills. Now, a rill, R-I-L-L-E, -L -L -E, is a long channel associated with lunar maria. The rill looks similar to a valley or a trench. So if you have a canyon, a valley, or a trench on the moon, we don't think it was formed by water. We think it was formed from when things were settling on the moon. But that's just one of the features of the moon. So you have the craters, the highlands, the maria, and rills. Pretty simple, right? Is there any questions about this? If you want to remember it, you always want to write it down. Very helpful. From your hand, to your brain, to your memory. There we go. There we go. Add a step. Add a step. Make a bite. Okay. Alright, what do we got next? Uh, regolith. Now, we've talked about regolith before. Regolith is a thin lit gray layer on the surface of the moon consisting of loosely compacted, fragmented material believed to have been formed by repeated impact of meteorites. It's, it's dust. It's debris. It's like you go you go onto the ground where the dirt's really loose and you pick it up and the dirt kind of falls through your fingers. That's regolith. Except it's it's not sand, it's more like a dirty, very loose material that forms on the surface of the moon. I don't know if you guys not quite ash. Ash is super fine. This is gonna be more like of like dirty sand, but not sand, just made of rock like rocks that have been broken into tiny little pieces. Um, well, not sand as you would find it on the beach. Yeah, moon sand. Yeah, moon something sand. like that. But you're not gonna. It's not gonna. Sand is very well sorted. All the sand pieces are the same grains, the same size. So if you go to the beach, all the sand is the same size, with the occasional seashell. But what we're talking about here is you're gonna have big chunks, little chunks. It's not. It's what we call poorly sorted. Okay. Um, we thought that was. We thought this layer was gonna be very, very thick. So the Apollo moon landers had these giant round feet, like you would have giant snowshoes, so you could walk on the snow, and it turned out to be pretty thin. We thought it was going to be thick, but it turned out to be pretty thin. So that's regolith. Okay, so here's just a picture of it all put together. The highlands, okay? So no highlanders coming out of here, but here we have highlands. Here we have old craters, young craters. Now, when I say young and old, on the Earth it makes more of a difference. On the Moon, we have some old ones. But as other crater impacts hit, more ejecta comes out, starts covering the crater, so it looks a little bit smoothed over. It just means that it's happened way before this one happened. This is a much more recent crater. So you can see these rills coming off of it. I'm sorry, the rays coming off of it. A rill, you can see here, is just where the moon is starting to settle out. So crater, here's a nice picture of a crater from the side. So this is what's going on on the moon. Questions about what's going on on the moon? Is the lava just hard? Well, anytime you have lava that comes up from the surface, it's magma underneath, comes up, once it's exposed, we call it lava. Well, in order for <coughs> lava to stay lava, it has to be very hot. 
like 600 degrees Celsius. And even though the moon can get very, very hot in the sun, it doesn't get that hot to maintain molten lava. So once it reaches the surface, it spreads out. And as you know, these things spread out, they tend to cool. So it cools off, and you get these nice old lava flows. OK, right first. What's the mare again? The mare? The oh, mare. Yeah, this, this is the old, like this could be like the sea of tranquility. OK, it's that old ancient lava flow. So here we have different layers of these lava flows on the top. And then on those lava flows, we're getting more craters hit as time goes on. 